So <clears throat> now uh, crizotinib as an FDA approved agent um, is viewed as a standard therapy for ALK positive lung cancer. Um, the data um, for approval actually came just from single arm studies, but now we also have data from the randomized phase three study of crizotinib, um, which was compared head to head with standard single agent chemotherapy, pemetrexid or docetaxel. And in patients with ALK positive lung cancer in the second line setting, crizotinib was shown to be superior to chemotherapy in terms of longer PFS, improved response rates, improved quality of life and symptoms. Um, so certainly there's uh, really good data um, supporting the use of crizotinib. NCCN recommends um, uh, testing of all patients um, with advanced non-squamous uh, lung cancer for EGFR as well as ALK, and they do actually recommend frontline treatment of patients if they're ALK positive uh, with crizotinib. And I should note that that data really is, um, I mean, that uh, recommendation is really not based on a lot of data for crizotinib in the first-line setting. Uh, a trial recently has completed accrual of crizotinib, first-line crizotinib versus platinum uh, pemetrexid um, as the chemotherapy comparator. And we may have results sometime middle of next year to show whether or not, or determine whether or not, crizotinib really is superior to frontline chemo. Um, so that those results are, uh, I think, anxiously awaited. But for the time being, based on the data so far that has come from the phase one and two studies, as well as from the randomized phase three study in the second line setting, the recommendation is to use crizotinib as a standard agent, even as a first line agent in ALK positive patients.